everyone, it's me, Anthony Coach, a guitarist on YouTube, today talking yet again about speed. <laughs> Playing the guitar quickly still seems to be what captures people's imaginations, what captures aspiring guitarists imaginations and it's the thing that they want to practice the most. But I think that there are a few misconceptions about speed, not about speed in general, but for those players who are practicing speed, I think there are a few misconceptions. I'm going to talk about those today. But first, I want to know in those comments down there, who is the fastest guitarist these days? I'm old, well, getting old now. Uh, and some of those players from the 80s, 90s and early 2000s, I'm sure they aren't the fastest anymore. I'm sure there's some like 16 year old out there who's playing super, super fast. Who is the fastest guitarist? Or is it still one of those older guitarists? Let me know down there. Okay, I've made a list. Made a list of these things. And I don't want this video to come across like, you know, oh, you shouldn't practice playing fast. I love playing fast. I love practicing to play fast. And of course, I want to be faster, uh, as many players do, because it's fun. It's fun to listen to. Uh, it's fun to play. Uh, we all buy our fluorescent coloured guitars and we want to show off all that stuff, but there are some misconceptions. What have I got? Misconception number one, way at the top of the list, is you have to have fast fingers. Sounds a bit weird because, yeah, your fingers are doing something slightly fast, but really it's more about the coordination of your fingers. Let's take this classic standard shred snippet in D minor. Or, or we could do it up here. And I can get that up to a workable speed. When you look at this finger, it's only going that fast. This finger's only going that fast. This finger, it's not even moving, that is a lazy finger. This and, that's probably the fastest movement that's going on. Even that's not super fast. That finger's doing that. That finger's doing that. So taking that as an example, what I see a lot of when people play this, because they know that, or they, they believe that playing fast requires fast fingers, they get finger one in there as well. You don't have to move finger one for a snippet like that. That takes a lot more coordination to do that. If you don't have to move your finger, then don't. Of course, that turns into. Whoops. You don't need super fast fingers, you need coordination. Then the speed takes care of itself. Number two is linked to that. Number two is it takes a lot of physical exertion, a lot of effort. Now, you might see your favourite guitarist on the knees, pulling a face. But it's not. I did a video not too long ago when I said that speed is, is easy. It's easy to play fast. And I, I was trying to make a point in that video that when you look at your favorite guitarists playing shows for one hour, two hours, whatever, playing the super fast stuff, they've practiced it to the point where they don't have to tense any part of the anatomy, any part of the hands or fingers. Tension is the enemy of speed. There isn't, there's barely any exertion with, with stuff like, all that stuff is practiced to the point where this hand is just relaxed, just going and then this hand is, as I said earlier, that, that economy of the movement you don't have to really physically exert yourself when you're playing the guitar. And if you are, that means that you're practicing it too fast. You have to go slower and then relax everything. 
then build up the speed with that in mind that everything needs to be relaxed. You don't have to put in effort to, to get fast, if you get what I mean. See what I mean? No, muscu no muscular effort. Number three, you eventually replace legato with picking everything. I've done a video on this one as well in the past. I think it's a misconception with the speed stuff that, that there's this, you know, you learn easy blues licks, uh, then you get into the legato stuff, and then you transcend into the world of picking everything. Uh, it's got its own unique sound and its own pros and cons, but with the fast playing, there is all sorts that you can do with legato playing. Just look at Rick Graham. Look at Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, all those players, what's his name? Alan Oldsworth, for whom legato makes up a massive part of their speed. It's not that you then, you know, you do alternate picking and then that's it. You leave the legato behind you because that's just easy now. You practice them both in tandem. Number four, it'll be a nice substitution for lack of theory or imagination. This is, this one is, uh, you know, the others are from experience as a teacher. This is from me, experience of, from my side as a player. That when, when you pick up the guitar and you go, oh, you see someone playing and all you hear is the fast flurry of notes. You don't really tend to think that they're squeezing in a lot of theory there. You, you just think, oh, it's just notes flying by. I just need to practice the scales and, and, I'll, and I'll just whiz by them so fast. You, you, I, I never realised that what they, they are following chords, they are, there is structure to it, there is music theory at work. Whether they know it or not, uh, I'm sure they do, they compose these songs with that in mind, but it was always easy for me to, to see that fast play and go, right, well, as soon as I can play fast, then I'll do some a bit of music theory clever stuff, then I'll just do fast stuff, and then I'll go back to something a bit more melodic, and then I'll just do fast stuff. That, that would get boring for a start, for a listener, and it doesn't serve you very well. If you want to get started playing f super fast, you have to know what it is that you want to play first and then just play it faster. <laughs> it, it doesn't work the other way around. Playing fast doesn't mean that you don't need theory. It means you need more of it because you've got 30 seconds worth of music. You're going to play, what, five notes or 5,000 notes? You have to chuck in a lot. The next one I'm going to sum up in about five seconds because it's you either have it or you don't. That is a massive misconception with playing the guitar quickly. Uh, just practice it. Practice it more. If you're not reaching it then you're not practicing enough. That's it. The next one is a weird one. Uh, one that I talk about a lot recently in my videos and that's you the song will have to be fast. To play fast guitar means that you have to play fast music in excess of 200 BPM. That's not the case. Think of your favourite heavy metal ballad that's nice and slow. I bet there's a massive, long, fast guitar on in there. What I'm talking about here is my favourite word, subdivision. Where if you've got your beat, I've got videos on this, if you've got your beat, you can squeeze lots of notes in that amount of time between those beats. So slow music can also equal fast playing, but you have to switch the way, I'll stop doing that, don't know why I'm carrying on doing that. You have to switch the way you're thinking. You have to think about beats in a different way and practice your scales and your runs at half speed, but squeezing more notes. It is a misconception that playing the guitar quickly requires or thrash or something. You can play super fast over a slow blues. You have to change that, change that way of thinking. And then the last one is <laughs> more a fun one than anything else, but I think it might be relatable. Uh, you'll reach a point where you're happy with your speed. Good luck with that. You'll reach that BPM that you were after uh, and you'll just want more. You'll see someone else doing it a bit faster and you'll want to reach that, you'll want to beat that. You'll start beating yourself up about that. I wish I had words of wisdom for that kind of stuff. Just take it from me and my experience to expect that and to go easy on yourself. 
be happy with the speed that you've got, push it a little bit, and use what you've got uh, in interesting ways. Speed won't replace invention. Uh, but, you know, I might be wrong on this one, but I do think that people will set a goal and then just keep moving the goal when they reach it. That's good for progress, isn't it? That's, that's what progress is. But, but don't make it your complete focus to reach super, super fast speeds. It's not going to be worth it. Okay, did I miss any out? Let me know in those comments. Uh, I've been Anthony Couch, did a lot of talking today. It always makes me a bit worried that it doesn't hold people's attention that much when I don't do the examples or the playing, but I'm human. Uh, I'm, I'm allowed to be uh, insecure about some things. Hopefully you did watch it up to this point, uh, but here's a few notes for those incredible names up there. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>